The WordPress Visual Editor functions in much the same way that the HTML Editor functions in. We have very similar options here as we have in the HTML Text Editor. We have the ability to bold text. We can italicize text. We can strike through text. We can add a bulleted list. Or we can add a numbered list. We can add block quotes. This will be used primarily from quoting other resources. And we can add additional horizontal lines. And that's simply all it is. It's a horizontal line. Now, if you're familiar with other text editors, you also notice that you have the ability to align left, align center, and align right your text. And you can layer any of these items. You can italicize and align it all in the same text. So if I want to have my bolded text aligned to the right, I can simply do it. Now what happened here? It seemed that I only selected the bolded text, but I actually selected the entire HTML block. If we looked at the code, we actually selected this whole thing. We selected the entire paragraph. So it's important to use this visual ed editor sparingly and also double check your work with the HTML editor. In this case, I just want to highlight the bold text and move it right. I can also add a link to this text. I'm just going to go ahead and link it to Google. We have the ability to add the read more tag as well. It appears in much the same way here as it does in the HTML editor. It's right here. Now, notice how this is also in the middle of other code. We'd want to go ahead and insert it below all the other code. So it's not interfering with anything. You want to make sure the code is mutually exclusive, so you're not inserting anything in between any of the closed tags, or before any of, the, before any of those tags are closed, so that you don't have a layered effect. So you always want to double check your work in the HTML text editor after you're done using the visual editor.